Interesting TCM and acupuncture. The 12 regular meridians, eight extraordinary meridians, and their use in clinical application. The Du channel, Ren channel, Chong channel, Dai channel of the eight extraordinary meridians. Contents. One, the Du channel. Two, the Ren channel. Three, the Chong channel. Four, the Dai channel. In our past classes, we discussed the concept of nutritive blood in the meridians and vessels and how it circulates in a preordained pattern from the lungs, large intestine, stomach, spleen, heart, small intestine, bladder, kidney, pericardium, triple energizer, gallbladder, and liver to complete the cycle of the 12 upright meridian circulation. The nutritive blood in the 12 upright meridian vessels constantly circulates without stop. 12 up, upright meridian vessels are the main channels of the body, but outside of these, there are also eight extraordinary channels. The extraordinary channels include the Ren channel, Du, Chong, Dai, Yin Chiao, Yang Chiao, Yin, and Yang Wei channels. The eight extraordinary channels are unique and serve a different purpose from the 12 upright meridians. The extraordinary channels were fully explained in the classic of difficulties. The extraordinary channels, most important two channels are the Ren and Du channels. In Chinese medicine, these two channels together with the 12 upright meridians form the 14 upright meridians. To clarify, the Ren and Du channels are extremely important. Part one, the Du channel. Name. The Du channel is one of the eight extraordinary channels. It rises in the lower abdomen in the area of the uterus, emerges from the Chugu acupoint, and is situated close to the Ren and Du channels, which also emerge from the uterus. The Du channel controls all of the Yang meridians of the body, and the six yang meridians each intersect with the du channel on the da joy point of the neck. The du channel can adjust all of the yang meridians of the body and their qi and blood. So it's called the ocean of yang vessels. It has the ability to encourage reproductive activities, especially in men. In bedside treatment, it can help with spinal conditions in which the spine cannot be made to relax or in convulsive episodes caused by tetanus. It can also treat pain in the spine and back and mental illness, heat illness, heat in the nape, and so on. Two, circulation. The internal classics, simple questions chapter 60, bone emptiness discussion discusses the meridian, the vessel circulation as follows. The Du channel arises in the lower abdomen under the lower bone in the center in women, is attached to the urethra. This hole is the end of the urinary tract. It's Collateral follows the yin to the area of the hui yin, perineum point. After the hui yin, it winds to the buttocks and goes to the end of the lesser yin meridian of the foot to the great yang collateral. It connects with the lesser yin at the upper thigh and moves to the spine. It connects with the greater yang and ascends to the inner corner of the eye, the forehead, and the crown. Then it enters the brain. It comes from the nape, travels to the shoulder blades, the mid-spine and waist center, and circulates to the kidney via collateral. In men, it connects to the penis and ends in the perineum. In the lower abdomen, it runs straight up, passing the navel, penetrating the heart, and entering the throat, ascending to the chin and embracing the lips, connecting to the general area below the two eyes. The branches of the Du channel. The first branch relates to the Chong and Ren channels and connects to the uterus. It emerges from the Chugu point and moves down to the Hui Yin point in the tailbone. It connects to the lesser Yin kidney meridian of the foot and the greater Yang bladder meridian of the foot. Then it penetrates up the spine past the kidney. The second branch goes from the lower abdomen to the umbilicus. It travels up to the heart. It arrives at the throat, connects to the Chong and Ren channels. It arrives in the mandible and passes around the lips arriving under the eyes. The third branch meets the greater Yang bladder channel and arises from the cactus of the eyes. It moves up to the forehead to the crown of the head. It enters the brain via a collateral. Then it moves down to the nape within the shoulder blades to the sides of the mid spine and enters the muscles of the spine arriving at the kidneys. Three, Du channel illnesses. The simple question bone emptiness discussion says, when the Du channel becomes ill, the back becomes hard and bends backward. This illness comes from the lower abdomen and penetrates upward to the heart causing pain. If one does not recover, they will form a hernia. Women will not be able to become pregnant. It can lead to the inability to urinate, flaccidity, loss of urine, and dry throat. 
The dew channel when ill can be treated on the bones. If the illness is already deep, it must be treated in the points under the navel. Use. Adjusting the chi and blood of the yang meridians, the dew is the sea of yang. The dew circulates up the back, the back is yang. So to explain more clearly, the dew channel connects the yang meridians of the entire body, allowing all of their chi to combine. That aside, the six yang meridians all intersect with the dew channel at the da jue point. The dew channel adjusts the yang meridians, and thus it's said that the dew is the converging point of all of the yang meridians of the body. It sends stimulus to the brain. The kidneys and spinal marrow function is associated with this. The dew meridian includes the brain, which has a collateral in the kidneys. The kidneys create marrow and the brain is the sea of marrow. The dew meridian meets with the brain and connects it to the kidneys via the marrow. This is an important relationship. It generates reproductive ability. The dew channel connects to the kidney. Its energy mixes with that of the kidney. The dew regulates sexual reproduction. Thus the dew channel is related to reproduction. Points. The dew channel runs along the center of the back. It arises from the Changqiang point. It finishes in the Injiao point. In total, it has 28 points from bottom to top. They are Changqiang, Yao Shu, Yao Yang Guang, Ming Men, Xuan Shu, Jia Zhong, Zhong Su, Jie Suo, Zhi Yang, Ling Tai, Shen Dao, Shen Zhu, Tao Dao, Da Jui, Yemen, Feng Fu, Nao Hu, Tianjian, Hou Ding, Bai Hui, Tianding, Xinmen, Shangxing, Shenting, Su Lian, Shui Go, Dui Duan, and Yin Jiao. What it treats mental illness, heart illness, sacral, back, head, and nape illnesses, reflect, reflecting illnesses of the organ. If the neck and nape are stiff and painful, there is also spinal pain. The spine is in spasm, loss of vitality, childhood convulsions etc. The dew channel governs the yang chi of the body and therefore the decline of yang energy can be seen in the dew channel and there are many treatment models to treat the dew channel. Seven, clarifying types of illnesses. The dew channel starts at the hui in point and rises in the spine ascending to the feng fu point, entering the brain, passing the crown and the forehead. If there is a pathogenic attack on the dew channel it may cause arching of spasm of the spine, stiffness of the neck, lock jaw, headache, twitching of the forelimbs, lack of mental clarity, fever, white or yellow tongue coating, wiry or fast pulse. The dew channel moves up to the brain. It connects with the dray in liver meridian of the foot at the crown, has a profound relationship with the liver and kidney. If the dew channel C is empty, it will not nourish the brain. If the marrow C is not sufficient, the mind will be foggy and have heavy. There will be floaters in the eyes and memory loss. The two ears connect to the brain, and if the brain marrow is insufficient, it will cause ringing in the ears and deafness. The dew follows the spinal cord upward. If the dew channel is vacuous, the channels and the meridians will lose nourishment. Then the waist and spine will feel sore, and the body will become stooped. The tongue will be pale, and the pulse will be slender and weak due to vacuity and decline. The dew channel controls reproductive function and is called the ocean of yang channels. If the dew channel chi is vacuous, it will lose its ability to warm the body and the back and spine will become averse to cold. Unable to achieve erection, the essence will become cold, thin and clear. There will be seminal emission. Women will experience abdominal distension and cold pain. Their uterus will be cold and they will be unable to become pregnant. The waist and knees will be sore, the tongue pale and the channels will be vacuous and weak. Clinical presentations. Pathogenic attack on the dew, lockjaw, headache, forelimb twitching, lack of mental clarity, fever, white or yellow tongue coat, wiry or fast pulse. The decline and vacuity of the dew channel, dizzy and heavy head, vertigo, memory loss, ringing ears and deafness, waist and back pain, stooped posture, pale tongue, weak and thin pulse. Dew channel yang vacuity, back and spine averse to cold, unable to achieve erection, cold essence, which is thin and clear, seminal emission, abdominal distension and cold pain in women, uterine cold with inability to become pregnant, waist and knee soreness, pale tongue, vacuous channels. Part two, the Ren channel. One, name. The Ren channel is one of the extraordinary channels. Together with the Chong, the Ren rises from the womb. It's represented in the body by the Chu Gu point and follows the chest and abdomen in a straight line. It ends under the mandible. The lower abdomen is yin and obtains yin chi of the body. Thus, it's called the sea of the yin channels. It connects to the organs and viscera and includes the throat and lips and mouth and eyes. It is, its collateral is the zhou wei point, which disperses in the abdomen. Its function is to adjust the connections of the yin meridians and their blood and chi. 
It adjusts the menstrual cycle and can be used to treat pathologies of the channels and meridians. Circulation. The internal classic 60th chapter says the following about the topic of circulation of the meridians and channels. The Ren channel rises from below the Zhongji point and rises past the border of the pubic hair and passes the abdomen, rising above the guanyuan, and ending in the throat to mandible, circulating in the face and entering the eyes. Explanation. The Zhongji is an acupoint for twin under the umbilicus. Guanyuan is an acupoint three twin under the umbilicus. The mandible refers to the Chengjiang point below the lower lip. The modern translation of the 60 of chapter 60 of the internal classic. The Ren channel connects to the lower abdomen of the womb. It descends to the genitals and anal, pubic, anal and pubic hair region, passing the external genitals, following up the lower abdomen and passing the guanyuan point, rising to the throat at the Tian Tu point, arriving at the lower lip and encircling the mouth. It connects with the Du channel at the Injiao point. It passes the two sides of the nose. It arrives at the Chengqi point under the eyes. It connects to the foot Yangming channel of the stomach. The branch of the Du channel as its collateral. The Ren separates at the Wei Yi, passes down the Jiu Wei, and scatters in the abdomen. The illnesses of the Ren channel. The, the internal classic 60th chapter discusses illnesses of the Ren channel. The Ren channel's illnesses express themselves in men as the seven hernias, in women as obstructions below the belt. Explanation. The seven hernias refer to all hernias. Obstruction refers to accumulation illnesses. Masher explained this as, obstruction refers to collection. This also refers to stasis illness under the belt line. Wu Kun said, obstruction is the name for irregular qi pain. Chapter 60 of the internal classic also says, the Ren channel after becoming ill can result in men's lower abdomens experiencing seven hernias, including hold hernia, sinew hernia, water hernia, qi hernia, blood hernia, collapse hernia, fox hernia, and women can experience obstructions illnesses which collect below the belt line. Use. The Ren channel commands the in channels of the body and adjusts the blood of the in channels. It is the ocean of the in channels. The Ren channel circulates to the abdomen center. The abdomen is yin, or to clarify, the yin channels connect with the yin meridians of the body, and they all operate together. This aside, the foot's three yin channels are in the lower abdomen and mix with the Ren channel. The three yin channels are about, uh, uh, with the three foot yin channels via their mutual connection to the Ren. As a result, the Ren channel has the effect of adjusting the qi and blood and is the commander which collects all yin. It adjusts menstruation and nurtures the fetus. The Ren channel ascends from the womb and adjusts menstruation. It helps women's reproductive capacity and therefore, it said, Ren controls the fetus. Five, acupoints. The Ren channel circulates on the chest and abdomen in front of the body in a straight line rising from the Hui Yin and ending in the Chengjiang point. In total, there are 24 points on the channel, including Hui Yin, Chugu, Zhongji, Guanyuan, Shiman, Xihai, Injiao, Shenchui, Shuifen, Xianwan, Jianli, Zhongwan, Xiangwan, Ju Chui, Jiu Wei, Zhongting, Sanzhong, Yu Tang, Zigong, Hua Gai, Xuanji, Tiantu, Lianchuan, and Changjiang. The Ren channel points should be treated as follows. One, Hui Yin on the perineum, directing the needle 0.5 to 1 swan. Be cautious about needling in pregnant women. Two, Chu Gu is directly in the center of the pubic bone where it connects above. Needle perpendicular 0.5 to 1 swan. The bladder is inside, so you must make sure the patient urinates and empties it before needling. Three, Zhong Ji is the front move point of the bladder. It's four twin under the umbilicus. It should be perpendicularly needled 0.5 to 1 twin. Caution must be taken when needling pregnant women. The patient must urinate before needling if their bladder is full. Four, Guan Yuan, the front mu point of the small intestine, is three twin under the umbilicus. This point has powerful applications and is good for health protection. Perpendicular needling, needling 1 to 2 twin with caution if needling pregnant women. Urine must be passed before needling. Five, Sherman front move point of the triple burner. It is two twin under the umbilicus. It may be needled perpendicular 0.5 to one twin. Caution must be taken if needling pregnant women. Six, qi hai is the UN source point for the area between the heart and diaphragm. It is 1.5 twin under the umbilicus. Perpendicular needling is one to two twin. Caution must be used in needling pregnant women. 
seven. In Diao is one twin under the umbilicus. Perpendicular needling, needling is 0.5 to one twin. Moxa can be used. Care is required when needling pregnant women. Eight, Shen Chui is in the center of the umbilicus. Needling is forbidden. Moxa is allowed. Nine, Shui Fen is one twin above the umbilicus. Perpendicular needling 0.5 to one twin. 10, Xia Wan is two twin above the umbilicus. Perpendicular needling is 0.5 to one twin. 11, Jian Li is three twin above the umbilicus. Perpendicular needling is 0.5 to one twin. 12, Zhong Wan, the front move point of the stomach is eight, uh, eight hui points fu hui is four twin above the umbilicus. Perpendicular needling one to 1.5 twin. 13, Xiang Wan is five twin above the umbilicus. Perpendicular needling is 0.5 to one twin. 14, Zhu Chui, the front move point of the heart is six twin above the umbilicus. Perpendicular needling is 0.5 to one twin. 15, Jiu Wei is the collateral point and the Gao Yuan point is located in front of the tip of the sternum obliquely pierced 0.5 to one inch downward. All of the chest points below must be needed evenly at a depth of 0.3 to 0.5 to one. Uh, 16 is Zhong Ting. It is in the fifth intercostal space in the center of the end of the sternum. 17 is Shan Zhong, the per pericardium front mu point and Qi Hui point is in the fourth intercostal space in the center between the two breasts. Yu Tang is in the third intercostal space. Uh, number 19, Zigong is in the second intercostal space. Number 20, Hua Gai is in the first intercostal space. Number 21, Xuan Ji is one twin below Tiantu in the center of the handle of the chest bone. The following acupoint comparison operations are special. Number 22, Tiantu is in the suprasternal notch. It begins with perpendicular needing point two and then rotate the needle down in the direction of the sternum, then insert 0.5 to one twin. Number 23, Lian Chuan is above the hyphoid bone in the cavity under the chin, needle obliquely toward the tongue, 0.5 to 0.8 twin. Number 24, Cheng Jiang is below the lip and the central depression, needle obliquely 0.3 to 0.5 twin. Summary, from the umbilical center to the pubic bone is five twin. Each twin has one acupoint. In Jiao, Shimen, Guangmen, Zhongji, and Chugu. The qi, qi high point, which is 1.5 twin below the umbilicus, and the hui yin on the perineum for a total of seven points. These points under the umbilicus require caution if treating pregnant women. The three points of Guanyuan, Zhongji, and Chugu are all over the space of the bladder, so patients should urinate before treatment in order to avoid puncturing the bladder. The umbilical center point of Shen Chui may not be needled, but may have moxa applied. From the abdominal center to the tip of the sternum is eight sun. From a height of seven sun, each sun has a point totaling seven sun. They include Shui Fen, one sun above the umbilicus, Xia Wan, two sun above the umbilicus, Jian Li, three sun above the umbilicus, Zhong Wan, four sun above the umbilicus, Shang Wan, five sun above the umbilicus, Zhu Chui, six sun above the umbilicus, Jiu Wei, seven sun above the umbilicus, and one sun below the tip of the sternum. Aside from the Jiu Wei point, which should be needled obliquely 0.5 to 1 twin. All the other points should be needled perpendicularly 0.5 to 1 twin, with the exception of Zhong Wan, which may be needled perpendicularly 1 to 1.5 twin. The chest area in the fifth to first intercostal space has a total of five points, one of each intercostal space. They are separated as following. Zhong Ting, Shan Zhong, Yu Tang, Zigong, Hua Gai are all below. Tian Tu and all are separated by one twin. The handle of the sternum is the location of the Xuanji point. From this six point operation on the chest, the flat puncture is 0.3 to 0.5 inch. Tian Tu, Lian Chuan, and Cheng Jiang are as follows. Tian Tu is on the depression of the suprasternal notch. It is needled perpendicularly 0.2 twin. After this, turn the needle downwards so it's level with the sternum and then insert 0.5 to one twin. Lian Chuan is above the hyoid bone, bone in the depression of the chin. It needles obliquely toward the tongue, 0.5 to 0.8 twin. Cheng Jiang is in the depression below the lower lip. It's needles obliquely 0.3 to 0.5 twin. Special notes. Zhongji is the front mu point of the bladder. Guan Yuan is the front mu point of the small intestine. Sherman is the front mu point of the triple burner. Zhong Yuan is the front mu point of the stomach and Hui of the Fu organs. Zhu Chui is the front mu point of the heart. Shan Zhong is the front mu point of the pericardium, as well as the Hui point of Qi. Jiu Wei is the lower point of the Gao 
point and gao point, the and qi hai is the point between the heart and pericardium. Now, gao huang, the ancients called the apical fat of the heart. Gao and the area between the heart and the diaphragm is called huang. The 12 organs and viscera mu points have seven on the ren channel. The six fu mu points have four on the ren channel, including the small intestine at Guan Yuan, triple burner at Shimen, stomach at Zhongwan, bladder at Zhongji, gallbladder at Ruyue on the main channel, large intestine of Tianshu on the stomach. The six zang mu points have two on the ren channel. They include heart at Jiuque and pericardium at Shanzhong. Kidney is on the Jingmen point of the kidney channel. The lung is on the Zhongfu point of its own channel. The liver point is on Qimen of the liver channel and the spleen point is on Jiangmen of the liver channel. Special points. The eight channel points are meeting points are Liachui, which connects the ren channel and lung meridian. The Inqiao is connected by the Jiao Hai to the larynx. Liachui can be paired with Jiao Hai to treat throat illnesses, uh, illnesses of the diaphragm and chest and lung illnesses, illnesses of the upper Jiao as well as yin, yin, yin vacuity heat. Part three, the Chong channel. Name. This channel's points can be used to treat the lower abdomen, umbilical abdomen, stomach, chest, neck, throat, head, and face, as well as illnesses in the internal organs with external manifestations. Many of these points have a strong effect, also powerful in treating emotional illnesses. No, Du and Ran channels, although being relatively yin and yang in nature, do not have a specific affiliation to either zang or fu organs or upper and lower limbs. This is why they are known as extraordinary channels. Circulation. The internal classic bone emptiness discussion, uh, chapter 60, says about the circulation of the meridians, the Chong channel rises within the thoroughfare of the Qi Jie. It runs together with the lesser in meridian, rises through the umbilicus, arriving and scattering at the chest. Explanation of the above chest. The Chong channel rises from the thoroughfare of Qi, called the Qi Jie. It rises together with the lesser kidney in meridian of the foot. It passes through the left and right of the umbilicus and ends at the chest and scatters. There are three pathways in this channel. It rises from the lower abdomen center in women from the womb meridian. It descends to the Hui in point, and then it follows three paths. One path rises from within the anterior of the lower abdomen, rises parallel to the umbilicus, connecting with the lesser in meridian of the foot, scattering in the chest center. Then it continues to rise, passing the throat and circulating the lips. Another path rises along the posterior abdomen, rising to the spine. Another path exits the Hui In, passing along the interior thigh to the area of the greater toe. The Chong channel keynotes. It rises from the lower abdomen center, or the womb meridian, also known as the Bao Mai, passing the Hui In, spine center, both sides of the abdomen, throat, and circulates around the lips. Three, illnesses. The Yellow Emperor Internal Classic Simple Questions, Chapter Bone Emptiness, Chapter 60, on the subject of illness, says, when the Chong channel becomes ill, the Qi will rebel and cause acute symptoms. Explanation of the above text. When the Chong channel becomes ill, the Qi within the meridian will reverse. The abdomen interior will become suddenly painful. This has a direct connection to the rising and falling action of the Qi mechanism. Four, use. The Chong channel has the following functions. One, adjusting the Qi and blood of the 12 standard meridians. The Chong channel rises to the head, it descends to the foot, it rises up the back, in the front it covers the abdomen and chest, it penetrates the entire body, it connects the Qi and blood of the 12 standard meridians and commands the Qi and blood to penetrate all of the meridians. When the Qi and blood of the organs, viscera, meridians and collaterals is replete, the Chong channel can add to it and harmonize the system. When Qi and blood are not sufficient, the Chong channel irrigates and adds to it in order to connect the organs and viscera and allow for their normal functioning. Because the Chong channel adjusts the blood and Qi of the 12 standard meridians, it's called the C of the 12 standard meridians. Three, two, relationship with the menstrual cycle and pregnancy. Menstruation and pregnancy are all predicated on the blood and the Chong channel arises from within the womb meridian. Thus the C of the 12 meridians is also called the C of blood. Since the relative health or decline of the menstrual cycle and pregnancy have a deep relationship with the Qi and blood of the Chong channel. The Chong and Ren channel share an origin with the Du channel, but flow differently. The Chong channel rises from the womb meridian, but if the Qi loses its organization, the menstrual cycle will be disturbed. It will be impossible to become pregnant. There will be miscarriage. There will be illnesses related to leucorrhea. Since the channel arrives in the chest and scatters, the Qi will become painful. The chest and abdomen will be sore and the Qi will penetrate the heart. Five, acupoints. Aside from the Ren and Du channel, the six other 
of the eight extraordinary channels do not have their own acu points. Instead, they have meeting points with other meridians. The meeting points of the Chan, uh, Chong channel are Hui In with the Ren meridian, Qi Chong with the stomach meridian, and the meridian passes along the lesser kidney meridian of the foot and traveling to the abdomen and chest on the two sides of the Ren channel. There are 11 points in the area of the kidney meridian, including Heng Gu, Da He, Qi Shui, Sunan, Zhongju, Huang Shu, Shang Chu, Shi Guan, Yin Du, Tong Gu, and ending in You Men. This means that there are 13 points in total with 12 on each side and a lone point in the Hui Yin, making for a total of 25. Special points. The Chong Mai has the meeting point of Gong Sun, which is located in the greater Yin spleen meridian of the foot. Gong Sun attaches to the Chong channel to the stomach, heart, and chest, while Nei Guan connects the Yin Wei meridian. Gong Sun can be used together with Nei Guan to treat stomach, heart, and chest, as well as the middle Jiao. This can treat malaria and stomach, heart, and chest issues. Acupoints. Rising from the Hui Yin and ending in the You Men, there are 13 points, 12 running on each side, uh, one located at Hui Yin for a total of 25. One, Hui Yin on the Ren channel. is located directly on the perineum center. In men, it is between the testicles and anus. On women, it's between the anus and vagina. It is behind and connects them. Two, Qi Chong, stomach meridian. It's located five tuan under the umbilicus, two tuan lateral to the chugu point on the pubic symphysis on the interior of the artery. Three, Heng Gu on the kidney meridian. It's five tuan below the umbilicus and five fen lateral to the chugu point. Four, Da He on the kidney meridian. It's five fen beside Zhong Ji under the umbilicus for tuan. Five, Qi Shui, kidney meridian. It is three twin under the Guanyuan point and lateral five fen. Six, Sihai, kidney meridian. It's two twin below the umbilicus and five fen lateral to the Sherman point. <clears throat> Seven, Zhongju on the kidney meridian. It's one twin below the umbilicus and five fen lateral to the Injiao point. Eight, Huangshu, kidney meridian. It's next to the Shenchui point at the center of the umbilicus, lateral five fen. Nine, Shangchu, kidney meridian. It's next to Xiaowan, two twin above the umbilicus and five fen lateral. 10, Shi Guan at the kidney meridian. It's located next to Jian Li, three tuan above the umbilicus and five tuan lateral, five fen lateral. 11, Indu on the kidney meridian. It's next to Zhong Wan, four tuan above the umbilicus and five fen lateral. 12, Tonggu on the abdomen. It's located next to Shang Wan and five tuan above the umbilicus and five fen lateral. 13, You Men on the kidney meridian. It's located next to Zhu Jui and is six tuan above the umbilicus and five fen lateral. Also, it's recorded that the Chong channel also meets with the Yin Jiao point, one twin above the umbilicus on the Ren channel. Connections with the organs, viscera, and offices. It connects with the womb meridian at the office of essence and the throat and lips. Six, treatment. It treats the heart, stomach, pain, chest, and abdom abdominal fullness, tied chest, overturning stomach, accumulation of alcohol and food, intestinal growling, edema, leaking stool, belching, acute pain, hypochondrial distension, lower abdomen pain, intestine, wind, and bloody stool, malaria, fetus not descending, vertigo after childhood, leaking blood with confusion and loss of consciousness. Note, the Chong channel in gynecology frequently uses the following medicines. One, to supplement the Chong channel qi, wu ju yu, ba ji tian, lu liao, gui ban, zi he chuo, bai zi ren, du zhong, and bi jia, to adjust the qi of the Chong channel, Mu Xiang, Xiang Fu, Chuan Xiang, Yi Mu, Cao, Dang Gui, Dang Shen, Dong Kui Zi, Gan Cao, Bai Xiao, Niu Xi, Ji Xue, and uh, Ji Xue Teng. Three, to connect the qi of the Chong channel, Wang Bu Liu Xing. Four, to supplement the blood of the Chong channel, Dang Gui, Dan Shen, Bie Jia, Chuan Xiong, Gou Qi Zi, and A Jiao. Five, moving blood in the Chong channel, Lu Hui, Zolan, Zhuan Bai, Hong Hua, Wu Ling and Chuan Xiong. Six, lower rebellion in the Chong channel, Mu Xiang, Bing Lang, Huang Bai, Shi Ying, Long Gu. Seven, clearing heat from the Chong channel, Huang Qi, Huang Bai, Nu Jian Zi, Dan Pi, Bai Wei. Warming cold in the Chong channel, Lu Rong, Ai Ye, Lu Jiao, Gui Xin, Xiao Hui Xiang, Ba Ji Tian, and Wu Zhu Yu. To strengthen the Qi of the Chong channel, Shan Yao, Lian Rou, 
Part 4, the Dai Channel. Name. The Dai Channel is one of the eight extraordinary channels. It connects to the waist as a belt. Its circulation is horizontal around the waist. It connects all of the meridians of the body. It looks like a belt and thus is called the belt meridian. The fatty area around the waist or the love handles is the belt meridian of Chinese medicine. The belt meridian travels horizontally and connects the three yang and three yin of the feet, as well as the ren and du channels and the yin and yang qiao. The, this meridian is especially useful in protecting the fetus during pregnancy. Two, circulation. The meridians and vessels circulation original text from the differentiating meridians chapter of the spiritual pivot. The foot lesser in rises to the crease of the knee, then it passes the greater yang and connects with it rising to the kidneys. And on the 14th vertebrae, it belongs to the Dai channel. The classic of difficulties, 28th difficulty says, the Dai channel rises on the sides and make one circle around the body. The discussion of the eight extraordinary meridians says, the Dai channel is on the sides of the waist. It rises from the Jiangmen point. It also connects to the lesser foot meridian Dai Mai point. It surrounds the body like a belt. The text Ru Men Shu Qian by Zhang Chongzhen says the Chong Ren Du, these three channels rise from the same place, but move differently. They have one origin and three branches. They all connect to the Dai channel. Explanation. The lesser yin meridian of the foot rises to Zhizhuang. It also travels to meet the Taiyang meridian, uh, which rises to the kidneys. At the 14th vertebrae, it enters the Dai channel. Emerging at the 14th vertebrae, it passes below the hypochondrial region. It horizontally connects the body, passing the Dai Mai, Wushu, and Wei Dao points, wrapping the waist and abdomen. Circulation direction. It circulates around the waist. The Dai channel path. It rises at the chest sides, passes the lower abdomen, wraps the body, circulates in relation to the organs and viscera, lower back, lower limbs, and genitals. Three, illnesses. The classic of difficulties, 29th difficulty says, the illnesses of the Dai channel include abdominal fullness, waist distension as if sitting in water. The simple questions flaccidity discussion says, when Yang Ming is vacuous, the sinews will become floppy and the Dai channel will not stretch, leading to foot flaccidity without the ability to move. The classic of pulses says, Diagnosis of the Dai Meridian, it wraps left and right around the umbilicus, waist and spine, pain and soreness penetrate the chong and inner thigh. Explanation. The Dai channel, if falling out of harmony, can cause menstruation to lose regularity and white discharge to descend. When the Dai channel loses regularity, it can cause paralysis and flaccidity. When the Dai channel becomes ill, the abdomen can distend and the body seems to float above it as though sitting in water. Four, function. The Dai channel has the function of tying together the meridians. It emerges from the second lumbar vertebra and circulates around the waist. As a result, it surrounds all of the yin of, and yang meridians of the channel of the foot. Thus, it's said all meridians belong to Dai. As a result, it's quite important in gynecology. The Dai channel is the shortest of the meridians, but also highly important. It arises from the intercostal region and transverses the body horizontally around the waist. It seems like one thread which behaves as a belt. It connects the three yin meridians and three yang meridians, as well as the yin and yang qiao. The Dai channel acupoints share its name with, uh, is one point on the lesser yang gallbladder meridian of the foot. It is on the axillary line level with the umbilicus. The Dai channel, if not working properly, will cause fat accumulation around the waist, stimulating the Dai point can dredge the liver and assist the gallbladder, help rising of clear qi, falling of turbid, dissolve accumulation, stop edema and water collection of the waste, reduce phlegm and fatty deposits. The Dai channel meets the kidney nerve complex, thus the Dai Mai greatly assists in strengthening essence in kidneys and making yang energy stronger. Five points. Aside from the eight extraordinary channels, Ren and Du channels, the other six meridians do not have acupoints. However, the Dai channel does connect to other meridians by meeting points, including the Dai Mai point, Wu Shu, and Wei Dao on the foot lesser yang meridian. Special points. The eight channel meeting point of the Dai channel is Zu Lin Qi. It is the Shu point of the lesser yang gallbladder meridian of the foot. Zu Lin Qi attaches to the Dai channel in the same way as the Yang Wei is attached at Wai Guan. Wai Guan and Zu Lin Qi can be used to treat the eyes, ears, cheeks, nape, and shoulders, and disorders of cold and heat in those regions. Six, treatment. Abdominal distension, waist feeling as though it's cold, menstrual disorders, red and white discharge, and flaccidity. Note, frequently used medicines in gynecology for the Dai channel for painful abdomen is Bai Shao. Abdominal fullness and sense of sitting in water is Mugwort. Constant discharge is Chuan Duan and Long Gu. 
explanation, the Chuang channel's illnesses and Dai channel illnesses are acute illnesses of the entire body. Gynecological issues of menstruation and pregnancy are associated with the Chuang channel, while issues of discharge are associated with the Dai channel. Gynecology typically uses the Zhang and Fu organs, and the Chuang and Dai channel are the yin and yang of Zhang and Fu, so they're recorded in the eight extraordinary channels. Below we will answer some questions. Why is the greater yang bladder meridian of the foot associated with illnesses of the sinew? Why is the lesser yang gallbladder meridian of the foot associated with bone illnesses? The greater yang bladder meridian may be used to treat sinew illnesses. The greater yang bladder meridian can control sinew illnesses and was recorded in the spiritual pivot. The greater yang bladder meridian controls and treats sinew illnesses. The spiritual pivot chapter of generating qi and connecting to the heavens says, yang qi nurtures the spirit, soften, softens and nurtures the sinews. To speak clearly, yang qi transforms into subtle essence and can be used to nurture the spirit. And then it penetrates outside to soften the sinews. The greater yang is called loyal yang and is where yang qi is most abundant. Thus it can treat illnesses of the sinews. The spiritual pivot meridians and vessels chapter 10 says clearly that the tai yang meridian treats illnesses of the sinews. Further inspection of the internal classic describes the sinews and explicitly says greater yang treats sinews and liver controls the sinews. This description of methods is especially focused on greater yang treats all illnesses of the sinews as the means of clinical practice. Greater yang sinew meridian illnesses. The spiritual pivot records the greater yang meridian as such. It treats illness of the sinews such as malaria, madness, insanity, headache on the crown, yellow eyes, lacrimation of the eyes, bloody nose, nape, back, waist, tail, knee, and leg pain, inability to use the little toe. This is the early recording explaining why the greater yang meridian can treat illness. The meridian of the and the sinew channels. The meridians have the system of collaterals on the entire body, including the 12 meridians and eight extraordinary channels. They all move qi and blood, nurse the entire body, and they're used to adjust the yin and yang of the body. Within this are the 12 standard meridians are, the, are of central importance. Internally, the fu and zang organ, organs uh, are, and externally and collaterals and limbs. The 12 meridians have sinew channels which run along their path and connect the road of the bones. This is how the joints are able to straighten and bend. The meridians and sinew channels move together. Their principle is in mutual covering. Their pathology occurs simultaneously. The key point is that the 12 standard meridians and sinew meridians are connected and travel externally. The sinews, flesh, and bones and joints obtain the 12 standard meridians blood and are nourished by them. The sinew meridians collect, accumulate, disperse, and connect. This is their specialization. They connect all of the organs, viscera and meridians and collaterals. Thus, when they are pathogenically affected, they become tired and allow the pathogen to enter the organs. Concerning the saying, greater yang treats illnesses of the sinews, Zhang Jiebin believes that the sinew meridians connect the body and they circulate in the body so that the sinew meridians are mainly controlled by the greater yang bladder meridian. They all connect in the heel, in the lower leg, and the knee, and the thigh. They also collect in the waist, the spine, the shoulder, nape, head, and eyes. They can be twisted, stretched, or swollen, and all of these come from water deficit in the greater yang. Thus, it rules over the illnesses of the sinews. The greater yang sinew meridian circulates as such. It connects to the heel, the knee, the ankle, the knee, crease, the thigh, the buttocks, tongue root, the occiput, the nose, the shoulders, and the wangu point. As a result, the greater yang sinew meridian treats illnesses of the sinews. The greater yang bladder meridian mainly uses the sinew meridian to treat illnesses of the sinews and can also be used for different sinew meridians. The sinew meridians and protective yang. The spiritual pivot explanation explains that the sinew meridians cover the body's surface and rise from the four limbs at the tips of the fingernails, connect to the joints and rise up to the nape, ending in the face, and they do not connect directly to the organs. They're located on the surface and cover the flesh. The spiritual pivot obstruction discussion says, it circulates on the skin covering the flesh, it steams the membranes and scatters on the chest and abdomen. It also says, yang obtains the chi of the four appendages. The sinew meridians thus obtain the protective chi at its outmost point. The simple questions generating chi and connecting to the heavens discussion says, yang chi uses essence to nurture spirit, softness uh, uh, to nurture the sinews. Wang Bing commented, Yang Qi transforms on the interior to become subtle essence. It nurtures the spirit and externally softens, making the sinews strong. This holds that the sinews obtain protective Yang Qi and softly nurture, strengthening the internal interior. Uh, then the protective Qi circulates 
to the poles of yin and yang sinews going toward the heart and scattering yang qi, softening and nurturing sinews. All of this has to do with protective yang in the sinew meridians. In summary, we can know that the greater yang meridian, protective yang and sinew meridians have a profound relationship. The greater yang treats sinew illnesses has three main principles. The sinew meridians connect to the muscle, strengthen the muscle and connect the membrane and blood vessels. If they lose their ear, uh, nourishment, it will result in joint illness, twisted sinew, dislocation, etc. Protective yang illnesses happen because yang qi does not warm. Cold enters the sinews and causes acute illnesses. Protective qi on the body surface meets with the meridians and organs and viscera within. The sinews are the external aspect and tend to manifest illnesses of the outer surface of the body. Two, the liver controls sinews and taiyang controls sinews. The liver controls sinews and taiyang controls sinews is recorded in the internal classic and refers to two things, but they do not have any conflict. The liver controls the sinews, emphasizes the organ relationship, while taiyang controls the sinews, emphasizes the meridians. The liver controls the sinews and liver contains blood. The liver controls the illnesses of the sinews, refers to the idea that the liver contains blood. This containment of blood fluid can be used to adjust the level of blood in the body. The Simple Questions 5 Organs Generation chapter says, the liver harmonizes with the sinews. The Spiritual Pivot 9 Needles discussion says, the liver controls the sinews. And the Simple Questions Placidity discussion says, the liver controls the sinews and membranes of the body. Each of these explains clearly that the liver harmonizes with the sinews and the sinew meridian need the liver blood to be smooth and nourished. At the same time, the Simple Questions Heavenly Truth of Highest Antiquity chapter states, when men are 56 years old, their liver chi declines, their sinews cannot move. The liver blood does not fill the sinews and they lose their nutrition. The Simple Question discussion of the meridians and vessels and their differences says, food chi enters the stomach, the essence is scattered to the liver, the dirty chi travels to the sinews. This shows how the liver meridian yin blood fills and nourishes with the sinews. The sinews obtain liver blood and are nourished by them. Thus, they can move freely. Thus, we can see how the idea of liver controlling sinews has a deep relationship with blood storage function of the liver. Tai yang controls the sinews and protective yang. The classic of categories of the meridians and collaterals says, also from the perspective of the placement of the sinew meridians, the liver controls sinews. It has a direct relationship with this distribution. Because the liver sinew meridian rises from the top of the great toe, connects to the ankle, rises to the thigh, it connects to the fibula on the lower leg, rises to the inner thigh, connects to the genital area, and has collaterals to the sinews. Thus, illnesses of the greater toe, inner ankle, fibula, inner thigh, and genitals are associated with this meridian. The liver meridian sinew channel does not connect to the greater yang sinew meridian, which runs up to the posterior leg via knee crease and ending in the ankle. As a result, the liver control sinews relates to the liver meridian sinew channel and rises up to where it can be affected by liver blood function. Illnesses and the in blood cannot reach the foot joint. The greater yang rules the sinews is related to how the greater yang foot meridian is affected by illnesses of protective yang being not properly distributed. Three, the illnesses of greater yang sinew meridian and clinical treatment. From sinew meridian distribution, we know that the greater yang can treat illnesses of the sinews. The greater yang meridian of the foot sinew meridian is prone to being affected by sinew illnesses. So we should consider how the sinew meridian distribution can be used to choose acupoints to treat such conditions successfully. If the waist back, if the waist and back are sore and inflamed, it generally relates to the sinew meridian distribution. If the waist and back muscles and sinews are inflamed, it's typically because of cold, damp conditions, chronic work-related conditions, and results of damage of the muscles, sinews, and membranes, which result in special inflammation. Then it tends to be the case that cold damage was related to greater yang bladder meridian and the dew meridian. Thus, it's said greater yang controls the sinews and can treat their illnesses. Back shoe points are the places where the chi of the organs and viscera present on the surface of the body. They're located on the greater yang bladder meridian of the foot in one thread, the back shoe points can be treated with the retaining needle and gradual lifting method, which can help the waist and back to recover from inflammation of muscle and sinews to a notable extent. The method of pricking the back shoe points can be used to release tight muscles and sinews. Dredging the back shoe points can assist the meridians and collaterals. The muscles, flesh, and sinews are all affected by blood circulation. Aside from this, the back shoe points can move yang qi and warm sinew meridians, as well as releasing wind and cold from the exterior quickly and relieving acute pain of the sinews.
In modern times, the back shoe points are principally used to treat inflammation of the sinews and muscles, as well as treating the three young meridians in three steps. The first step is the greater young sinew meridian treatment method. It follows the greater young sinew meridian of the foot to the head and focuses on pressing, rolling, tapping, pushing, and plucking to relax the sinews and benefit them. The foot greater sinew, greater young sinew meridian is best treated by relaxing the entire surface. From the greater yang controls the yang chi of the entire body, we can know that greater yang controls the sinew and treats its illnesses. Greater yang controls the yang chi of the body, thus it can warm and connect the yang chi of the sinew meridians in order to treat their illnesses and is considered an important aspect of treatment. The sinew meridians treatment is focused on treatment through burning the needle and pricking, knowing the correct number of treat treating pain with the shoe points. Burning the needle helps to quickly change the illness condition by moving blood and chi and warming the yang chi, opening the sinews and alleviating acute pain. Simple question chapter on the shape of blood and chi says, when the body is bitter, the mind is joyful, then the illness is in the sinews. It can be treated by drawing heat. Heat refers to the heating of the medicine. It's used to warm the sinew meridians before performing dao yin, then moving the sinews and bones so that the sinews relax. The Jingyue compilation chapter 11 says, use moxa to treat. In acute situations, moxa may be applied directly. In situations where the meridians are empty, it may be passed along the channels to stimulate qi. The qi will move with the blood and the sinews will be relaxed and set upright. When the protective yang is not sufficient, heated mug work may be added to warm yang and relax the sinews. The greater yang bladder meridian of the foot sinew meridian illnesses are typically caused by wind, damp, and cold. Thus, in clinic, we use heat from moxibustion to treat the back, nape, and waist on both sides. Then also treat the lower legs on the tai yang sinew meridian. We should find each point which has a feeling and follow it with the lit mud work in, in order to draw the chi and treat the illness, scattering the cold and eradicating the damp. Sudden shoulder pain may be treated with a warm needle using the pricking method. Warming the needle may make it easier for the sinews to relax and can move the blood and chi. It can also be retained for a long time. The above methods are used to treat illnesses of the Taiyang meridian, yang chi, because the yang chi is related to the sinew meridians. Thus in clinic, we observe greater yang channels control sinew and their diseases. Greater yang protective qi greatly flourishes and its relationship with the sinew meridians, we can understand the concept of greater yang controls the sinew meridians and controls their diseases. The spiritual pivot discussion of yin and wei says the great yin channel controls the interior, great yang controls the exterior. Zhang Jia Bin commented, greater yang is the greater yang foot meridian. It internally connects with ying qi and externally connects with yang qi. The, to clarify, the greater yang controls the sinews and treats their illnesses. Thus, this refers to the exterior aspect of the body. In clinics, this is used to prick points in a shallow fashion to relieve the sinews. This can affect the circulation of protective qi, allowing it to rest in the location and can drive out external pathogens. At the same time, the protective qi has been stimulated and obtained qi, so this shallow needling method may be stimulate and bring out the protective qi, which will appear at the disease site and push out pathogens. Also, the floating needle method can be used to treat sinews and membranes. It is not as deep as the muscle layer and is instead a method of picking the skin level, which can be used to treat waist and back muscle and sinew pain, as well as nape and shoulder level sinew and muscle pain. If the needle enters the skin level, it may dredge and connect to stimulate the pain point. Using the method can also uh, benefit the entire area through dispersion methods and can achieve the benefit of dispersing pain in order to treat obstructive cold. Summary, the greater yang sinew meridian rules the sinews of and treats diseases, refers to the greater yang bladder meridian of the foot sinew meridian, which may either be lacing in protective yang or experiencing cold damp stagnation. Uh, this is different from how the liver controls the sinews through blood circulation. In clinic, we can follow the distribution of sinews in order to affect the relationship of protective yang with the sinews. We may choose points on and hand methods to choose correct treatment of methods in order to achieve the effect of greater yang controlling the sinews and treating their illnesses. References, Spiritual Pivot Meridians and Vessels, Chapter 10, Chinese Acupuncture and Moxibustion Magazine, 2019, sixth issue. B. Why does the lesser yang gallbladder meridian control the bones and treat their illnesses? The spiritual pivot meridians and vessels chapter 10 refers to the bone in relation to illnesses of the lesser yang meridian illnesses, but we should understand this relative to circulation. The concept of the kidneys controls the bone and lesser yang controls the bones comes from the internal classic, and they are two different thoughts. The first puts emphasis on the function of the organs and has broad implications. The second refers to the path of the meridians and it has its own clear implications.
Previous genera generations of Chinese medicine have different interpretations of this concept, but all of them rise from the relationship between the sinews and bones and are further related to organ and viscera in internal and external relationships. So the idea that lesser yang commands the bones comes from the fact that lesser yang is the exterior relationship of the liver. And since liver controls the sinews and sinews control, connect to the bones, and because lesser yang qi is plentiful, then it's associated with the bones. Terminal yin and lesser yang are two lines of meridians which have collateral connections and two organs internally and externally connect. Thus, the liver contains blood and controls the sinews and bones, so lesser yang controls the bones. Zhang Jingwu commented that the gallbladder controlling the bones is as such, the gallbladder taste is bitter, bitter moves in the bones, thus gallbladder controls the bones when they become ill. The bones are dry and hard and gallbladder center qi is also hard. The gallbladder illnesses emerge from loss of hardness, so the illness enters the bones and can injure the gallbladder, thus the bones become weak. This is our evidence. One, basic circulation of the meridians ruling the entire body and treating pain. Lesser yang controls the bones comes from the internal classic and refers to the principle of meridians. The internal classic clearly explains this in the spiritual pivot meridians and vessels chapter 10, which says the lesser yang gallbladder meridian of the foot rises from the corner of the eyes, ascends to the corner of the head, descends behind the ears, leaves the exterior knee, lowers to the outer tibia and directly goes to the end of the limb. It controls bones and treats their illnesses of chest, side, ribs, buttocks, knees, and legs, the dragu, external ankle, and other joints. This chapter explains how the gallbladder meridian circulates and the lesser yang gallbladder meridian of the foot controls bones and treats their diseases. This includes chest, sides, ribs, buttocks, knees, and thighs, dragu, external ankles, and the joints. This is how the gallbladder rules the bones and treats their diseases. The lesser yang gallbladder meridian, the foot, passes from the major bones and joints of the body, but does the lesser yang control the bone refer to the circulation of the bones? Zhang Yinan said, controlling the bones and treating their illnesses refers to headache, chin ache, tray pen, axilla, chest and side, buttocks, external knee, thigh, and ankle pain. The lesser yang gallbladder meridian of the foot is used to treat pain along the path of the meridian. This explains some essential restrictions regarding the lesser yang controls the bones. This refers to the meridian controlling the pain of the bones and the lesser yang meridian circulation area where the pain occurs. This briefly describes the importance of the pain of the joints in the spiritual pivot meridians and vessels chapter 10. The simple question discussion of diagnosis of meridians says lesser yang treats deafness and the hundred joints follow. This idea of the hundred joints and all joints is the basic circulatory theory of the meridians and can be explained as pain in the whole body and more generally as bone pain. Thus, it's restricted to the movement of the meridian. Two, including many methods of treating illnesses and sinews. The lesser young gallbladder meridian moves along the course of the bones and joints, and within it connects to the buttocks and circulates down to the knee exterior, then circulates to the front of the tibia, ending in the end of the bone, then traveling to the front of the ankle, passing to the foot, and entering the space between the little and ring toes. It has a branch which travels from the great toe ending in its end, and ends at the hairs of the big toe. This branch circulates from the Juliao and arrives at Zhu Chiao Yin. Uh, it occupies 16 discrete points, uh, of which 14 can be used to treat illness of sinew and bone pain. Among these are several points which can be used specifically, such as Yang Ling Chuan, which is the Hu point of the gallbladder and lower Hu point, and the eight meeting point of the sinews. The sinew meeting point is where the qi sinew collects, can dredge the sinews, so it's used in clinic to treat sinew illnesses and bone obstruction. The simple question five organs generation discussion says all sinews are associated with the joints. Sinew belongs to the concept of joints. Uh, translators know joint refers to individual points of connection along the body and is more broad than the concept of cart cartilaginous joints in Western medicine. Joints refer to bone and sinew and cartilage and are all referred to as part of the skeletal system uh, and are the basis of human movement all of which is summarized by lesser yang controls the bones, which also explains the basis of the relationship of the sinews and bones. The eight quay points of marrow, xuan dong, is also located on the gallbladder meridian. The fine essence of the bones is called marrow and marrow creates the bone being an important part of their system. Xuan zhong moves qi and connects with the collaterals giving benefit to the essence and marrow. 
The sinew and marrow meeting points are two acupoints which help treat issues of the bones and joints and have a close relationship with the lesser young gallbladder meridian. In clinic, they're often used to treat sciatic nerve issues, leg numbness, half body paralysis, waist pain, and other similar issues which present in the lesser young gallbladder meridian. The foot lesser young gallbladder meridian circulation can be used to treat these issues because lesser young governs the bones. Therefore, it presents us with a valuable principle to follow in clinic. Lesser young gallbladder meridian illness and clinical application. Simple questions, flaccidity discussion says, when there is lesser young flaccidity rebellion, the system will lose its function. The system losing its function means that the waist cannot move, the nape cannot turn. The lesser yang meridian chi reverses and gives rise to bone illnesses. In clinic, it expresses a lack of dexterity, waist not comfortable, and nape discomfort. At the same time, the text also refers to flaccidity rebellion, which typically refers to a variety of internal illnesses. From this, we know that lesser yang is connected to the concept of a system. The simple questions meridian diagnosis discussion says, lesser yang end result is in the treatment of deafness in the hundred joints. This means that the result of using this meridian is in the treatment of all of the joints of the body. Also, the spiritual pivot root knot chapter says, lesser yang has its root in tiao yin and it's not in chuan long. Chuan long is in the center of the ear. The lesser yang is the pivot. The pivot is where the bones can move from in opposition to the earth. Thus, the rocking of the bones is associated with lesser yang. The idea of rocking of the bones refers to the inability to keep the joints stable and standing without being balanced. For these issues, it is possible to select lesser young points. These three articles are accompanied by the Spiritual Pivot Meridians and Vessels Chapter 10, which further supplements the knowledge found in the above and explains lesser young follows the rules the bones. In regard to the principle, pathology and treatment, as well as exactly what the relationship between lesser young and the bones. Modern medicine holds that lesser yang controls the bones has two major features. One, it relates to pain conditions of the entire body. Two, it relates to the hardness of the bones being compromised over time, as well as a decline in stability and relative ease of contracting bone conditions. This mainly means that lesser yang is useful for the treatment of obstruction, waist pain, tooth pain, headache, as well as 52 other illnesses. Over two courses of treatment with 20 test patients, the use of lesser yang channel provided a 38% reduction in illness. Lesser yang rules the bones as a major feature of national research and a vital aspect of our clinical practice of Chinese medicine. Summary, the lesser yang rules the bones is related to the important organ concept of kidney rules the bones. These two theories have differences, but are also closely related. The kidney governs the production of bone marrow and adjusts for the growth of human beings. While its clinical use is typically related to bone illnesses, however, bone pain can be largely treated by lesser yang theory. These two are mutually important elements of acupuncture treatment. Considering the internal classic and its many chapters and theories, the lesser yang governs the bones and later concepts do not have any significant conflicts. Their theory is complete in nature. The lesser yang circulation passes all of the major joints of the body and contains the ability to treat bone illnesses with its acupoints, as well as flaccidity conditions. Thus, it may be used when the bones and joints are not functioning well and is the reason why the study of meridians and collaterals contains the concept of lesser yang controls the bones. Lesser yang controls the bones theory is a special one in the study of meridians, their principles and illnesses and treatment strategies, and in summary is an essential aspect of clinical treatment in acupuncture. References, Spiritual Pivot Meridians and Vessels Chapter 10, Yang Shang Shan, Yellow Emperor Internal Classic, Tai Su, Beijing Renmin, Wei Sheng Publishing Company, 1965, page 112. Zhou Zhen, From Kidney Governs the Bones to Lesser Yang Controls the Bones, Relationship in Clinical Use, Tianjin Chinese Medic Medical University. Xie Jian, Foot Lesser Yang Controls the Bones, A View of Illnesses Through the Acupuncture Treatment, Yunnan Chinese Medicine Magazine, 1994, Number 15, page 25 to 30. Thanks for watching.